Oh, so hello guys, what's up? PBN here again, and uh, today uh, I thought of showing you something. That is, uh, I have updated my AT&T Galaxy S4, uh, S337 uh, to Android Lollipop, Android 5.0, and I have made a couple of videos regarding that, uh, which is in my channel, which you can go and check out. But uh, the thing is, I noticed a great thing, an amazing thing, actually, that after the update after the manual update i did to my at&t galaxy s4 um, i it surprisingly i found that uh, i have unlocked the bootloader it seems so at least uh, well if you are using an at&t galaxy s4 you know that it comes with a locked bootloader and you cannot install custom recovery like a twerp or uh, uh, what do you call it uh, the clockwork mod cwm and that's why you uh, many are installing safe strap recovery to flash uh, the roms uh, and uh, yeah that's the only available solution right now where a safe strap recovery is also not uh, uh, very convenient to use but uh, yeah i found that i might have unlocked the bootloader but i'm not sure uh, well i'll show you the android custom recovery uh, first of all uh, okay, without any further delay, let me go into it directly. First of all, I'll switch off my phone. Here it is. Yeah, and as you know, uh, in your Galaxy S4, if you have to boot into the recovery mode, you need to press the volume up button. Volume up button, the home button, and the power button simultaneously. So, let me do it. Um, before, yeah, I'll tell you this, uh, before upgrading to Android L, when I tried to do it, uh, there was some warning message or it used to go into the uh, some own mode or the download mode. Actually, by pressing volume down button, home button and the power button, you will go into the download mode. And if you use the combination along with the volume up button, it is meant to go to the recovery mode. So, without any further delay, let me try it. Let me adjust the camera correctly so that uh, I can show you that thing yeah guys here it is now I'll try to do it I'm pressing the volume up button home button and yeah the power button here Oh uh, yeah, now guys, yeah, I don't know if you can uh, see this because I'm outside while I'm recording it. Okay, let me go inside and I'll show you because I think because of these reflections you can can't see the bootloader. Yeah, uh, here it is, guys. As you can see, um, I, I wasn't getting this before. I wasn't getting this thing before. So I thought uh, it's a good sign. I don't know if we can, uh, if I can flash the custom recovery like a twerp or a CWM. Yeah, I'll try it definitely, and I'll get you back if I can. But uh, I don't know. But uh, I wasn't getting this menu earlier. It says Android System Recovery. So it could be the stock recovery, Android system recovery or stock recovery. Yeah, this is the stock recovery you will get. And uh, if you want to do more things like routing, custom ROM flashing, all those things, you have to change it uh, you have to flash the tour or uh, the any other custom recoveries this is just the stock recovery so it seems something can be done with this phone well uh, when I upgraded to KitKat nothing could be done the bootloader could not be unlocked there's no uh, the custom recovery could not be flashed so I was using safe strap but uh, let's see what happens so share your thoughts about this if you have seen this before yeah uh, do share it too uh, in the comment section below yeah tell me uh, whatever you think about the video well with that i am signing off guys this is pbn thank you and yeah peace out until we meet again